Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more Starbound where you can see that I am actually legitimately tired of something. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can do this mission one more time. Dreadwing is the name of the mission. And to be honest, I have this mission has kind of driven me bonkers a little bit. Now I actually haven't played too much uh, since the uh, most recent stable update that they made to this game. But just know that there's been some changes that have been made, including some bug fixes. The uh, Echorus Horror now doesn't do nearly as, or now doesn't do the bug thing that he does before with uh, good old fashioned. It wasn't before the lightning bolts would actually hit me, even though they weren't visual, so that's kind of game breaking here. But let's see if I can actually hit you. You'll notice I'm zoomed out a little bit. And part of the reason for that is because I am tired of dealing with this Dreadwing boss. So we're gonna we're gonna cheese it. As sad as that is, you can see the penguin UFO is over here, and we'll see if they actually patched it or not. Because if I shoot him right here, does he actually engage? Yes, he does. All right. So once upon a time, you could actually fight him without that. But the reason I'm staying zoomed out a little more is just because I want to. Uh... Well, how do I put this? actually see where he's going and right now I'm not too high on kind of how I'm doing here but the important thing is that if I can jump up and kind of get my rhythm right here maybe we can make this work I mean I can dare to dream so far it's going okay but now he's gonna do the artillery call thing and that just means the boss is gonna go into phase two so might as well Get my Healy snack here. Like I said, I just want him to not. Or I want to be jumping when he's going to swoop. So now he's going to start bringing in reinforcements, and that stinks a little bit because that's bullets that I need. There's Slam, and we have my wimpy little sword right here. See if I can take these guys out real quick. So just being able to see him is pretty useful, but unfortunately, he's gonna start calling down the big guns in just a little bit. And we don't want that. There's the slam again. Actually screwed that up a little bit, but see right now I have no bandages, which is part of the reason I'm kind of low on this a little bit. See if we can clear these guys out. Okay, so one shot, two shots, three shots, and teleport. He's gonna slam again in just a second. There we go. Might be able to get him here if I'm lucky. Just gotta go for the firing here. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna hit for a lot. Oh, I died at the very fucking last second. Alright, but see, that's kind of the relationship I have with that boss right now. Is that I can get closer and closer, and zooming out really helps to be able to see, but still, I just kind of die at the very end. Which sucks, because the planets that are available to where I'm at right now actually don't have a lot in the way of bandages or everything like that, so... Alright guys, so this is Way to Fail, back with more Starbound. I did a little bit of farming. I got a Skull Basher, which is not super awesome compared to the weapon that I was using before but it is a uh, two-handed axe and this apparently the wicked plant hacker does more damage per swing so we'll see how that goes but I think the two-handed damage may be a little bit better I don't know the more important thing is that I actually had one shield of plant guard I'm gonna be going into this with two shields biggest thing is that I needed some extra bandages so I did go into another planet for like five minutes just to get some stuff so sorry for the missed content we're gonna try and see if we can get to the uh, next sector here one of the nice things and I'll just show you where I'm at right now is uh there are multiple forest planets here but they're mostly harmless so the gear I'm gonna get is not too great like I said I'm just looking for plant vines the more important thing is that I actually did move from uh, up above to down here and it's nice that they track your progress this is a little bit closer to uh, some other stars that I may be able to go to. I believe the next on the tier list is a fiery star. We'll find out. The outpost will probably tell us more. But we're going to do Dreadwing again. Let's make sure that I don't have too much in the way of valuable stuff that I don't want to drop. Because I am going to be eventually trying to work on 
making some kind of farm planet somewhere, but I don't, I think most of what I have is like wars and stuff. I did grab some coal, so I don't want to lose that, because that will drop, so 35 coal is good. Let's try this crapper again here. So we have to go to the uh, Let's Talk missions, because yeah, I don't think I can upgrade 10 bars of gold, 10 bars of titanium. Uh, actually, if I can find enough gold, maybe I could, but let's try the Dreadwing again. Now that I have shields, maybe I can do what I need to do here. I don't know. Because they did patch out the cheesing, so that's not going to happen. That's for the best, I would say. So that means I do get to take out these guys, hopefully without too much issue. I do actually like playing with the wider view here, so I think I'm going to stick with that. And I can probably just pull him from over here without attracting these other guys and be okay. So important thing is that the shield, when there's a swoop happening, pick my shots and then beat him with the axe. So we'll see how that goes. Fire all the things. And then let's go ahead and fix our view again. And already I'm failing on my shielding here. So, so the big thing is just to have shield up. And I may fail once or twice just because of this, but there we go. I do have two shields, and it looks like they have independent life bars from one another, which is pretty useful. All right, so artillery call is going to be over here. We should be able to get some shots in in just a second. There we go. A little bit of lag. Yep, wrong key. So we want to knock out the reinforcements. Skull basher time, okay would actually help if I could kill you guys in one hit, so shield down. So 20 damage and then two. So my other weapon is a little bit stronger here. Good to know. Okay, I did not shield in time. It's gonna be my number one fail I think for this is just not shielding in time. So I could possibly fit some shots in. There we go. Do need to try and get some passive healing going on here, so. I do love the Skull Basher animation. It does actually destroy stuff as well. Wow, actually. Took some damage there, that's unfortunate. I need to bandage again. There we go. A little bit better that time. If I can get some shots in, that'd be good. For some reason, I hit those guys and only does 14. Did not get that in in time either. Okay, so one little mind explosion here. Yeah. Yeah. So a few more shots. Don't have that many shots I can use. Nothing yet. Feels like I'm going a little more stable here, but I cannot eat more food, so. Fortunately, I don't think he's summoning tanks right now, so that's pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna get a slam right now, and guard broken. Yep. Ah, where's ah, where's my gun? That was like total damage I could have done right there. And I just <laughs> I just ate some more damage because I just lost my hotkeys. That stinks. Wow. Total like choke job right there. So my guard is my guard's broken, so that's the thing. I thought I had two shields up, but hey. That went a little better, so one shield's broken right now. I'm not exactly sure what to do to fix that shield. I thought maybe just a little bit of time. There we go. Now it's regenerating. All right, so what could have I done better there? I could have. I thought I was hitting two for my shield hotkey. Apparently, I was hitting three. So we'll let that recharge for just a minute and kind of reevaluate where I'm at here. So hotkeys to actually switch weapons. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, axe for now, just because it does have a wider hit arc. 
But yeah, it will actually destroy things. So it doesn't do quite as much damage, but it does enough for our purposes here. So that is going to take its dear sweet time to recharge. That one fortunately did recharge. So if we start with two and then go to three, I think two shields should be more than enough. If I didn't screw up uh, what I was doing there, I would have had the win. So it's better that it's on me, but shields work! Pretty cool. So by the time we get this set up again, shields should be mostly up. Maybe. So being able to no scope snipe from all the way over here. So there's shield three, shield two, shield three, shield two. One down again. See if we can take you out. There we go. So we're just going to let our gun recharge and then fight this guy this time. I'm feeling a win coming on here. Let's see if it happens. I could have bandaged more. I could have uh, done my weapons better. But just get a little excited. There we go. I want this fight over. Okay. okay so a little bit of damage stop there. We'll wait for the slams. One thing I still don't like is how the gun regeneration works. So there's there's one tank all the way over there. So at least we're not having to deal with that right now. Okay, so there's shield three, shield two. And then let's ask these guys a question. And here comes the slam. And boom, 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 boom. And then just take out the reinforcements again. Don't know why I was clicking on that, but there we go. Why am I clicking on that? Because I have no mouse control. Barely got that one off. So like I said, it's not as much damage with that weapon as the other one, but I feel more accurate with my swing when I'm taking out the little guys. Just ate some food. Shield two. Shield three should be up momentarily. We're gonna get to phase three here in just a second, so. And what do we got? a few more shots. Shield 2, Mega Slam, there we go. And X. There you go, just stay nice and relaxed. Okay, guard break. get a little bit more serious time, but maybe I can shoot him down here. Oh. Screw that. Got a bandage. This is gonna come down to the wire here. Let's get this. Nope! Oh! Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. Got him down really far, and my shields are just going to have to regenerate, so I'll stop recording here for just a minute until those shields build back up. Alright, and we're back, and we're going to be taking on Dreadwing again. My shields have mostly regenerated, and I think the biggest thing is I just got to keep on top of my healing and not lose my hotkeys at the last second, because I did not mean to constantly be equipping the Matter Manipulator there, but so it's going to be... Mostly a... Oh, why can I not hit this new one? That's a good start. Uh, okay, well, it's going to be mostly just kind of relaxed. Let's kill this boss so we can move on in the game. Because at least the way that this fight's going right now, he's not dropping tanks on top of me. Which is about all you can ask for here. 
because those tanks are really, really annoying if you've seen me fight this guy before. Wow. Nope. Okay, so that one, that one penguin is going to mess up my day a little bit. Nope. Nope. Alright, now there is another option that I have. I did pick up a few bombs, which could be useful, but could also lead to kind of a double kill scenario. There we go. Just need to move forward a little bit. Now, I've never actually used bombs. What I understand is that if you just throw them at things when they get close enough, it'll do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, that can be splash damage for you as well. As well. So we'll try to avoid that here, and let's see. Can we get... Can we view the boss? There we go. So like I said, the exploit used to be that you would fight this guy over here. You just pew pew him and he would never come at you. Fortunately that got fixed. So I'll take I'll take the small hit there. Let my guns recharge. Should be able to dodge most of this damage. It's just when he does the actual slam or swoop thing. There we go. Maybe I should start eating my food now. Okay, so for some reason here, when I switch onto my shield, my hotkeys get a little bit confused and they don't necessarily want to go back to the weapon. Okay, that's a lot of damage I didn't need to take. Alright. So I missed my first shield. There we go. Not a great start. We are just going to abuse bandages like the Dickens. Okay, that was a weird lag spike. Fortunately, we can see when he's generating reinforcements and he's not. And here comes the slam, there's the shield. There we go. This is gonna stay on top of my health and healing. I have two forest planets nearby if I really need to do this again. See if I can sneak in a shot or two. I feel like I'm not using my swoop nearly as well as I could, but here it comes again. Now it's the artillery call that's gonna do in my shield quite a bit, so. So let's see what we can get here with taking these guys out. I need to bandage quite a bit here in a moment. But I should be alright. Just gotta stay on top of it. Alright. There you go. A little bit better. And there's your artillery call. So switch into shield too, because it's mostly regenerated. Here comes the big nasty in just a moment. Slam again, shield break. Actually, shield is not broken. But those little tiny penguin UFOs are going to be nasty, so let's here. Okay, losing my buttons again. Slam again. Okay, so kill him please this time. Shield again, shield break. Come on, just two more shots. There we go. Oh, finally. Quest complete. Quest complete and I died. Oh. oh, quest complete. Oh, there we go. I should take Dreadwing's record to the penguin on the outpost to see what he gives me in return. Oh, God. Can I actually not go back? Am I actually going to have to do that again? Oh. Boy. Okay, let's do it again. 
because I didn't actually I didn't actually pick up the wreckage, did I? No. Let's uh You know what? Screw it. Let's beam back up. Let's go to the ship. Let's see what happens at the outpost cuz I uh Dreadwing here. I should take the wreckage from Dreadwing. Uh yeah. And that'll give me a processor or something, but we'll find out kind of what that is. That was not what I was ex that was not what I was hoping for at all. But let's uh, go here. Shouldn't take any fuel. Yeah, I got a lot of fuel from a moon off camera. What? Okay, we are not. Why are why in the hell are we going that way? We are in this system down here, and there's a gate right here. There we go. This should take zero fuel, not 600 fuel. All right. Well, the good news is I beat Dreadwing. The bad news is that damage that came afterwards, and unfortunately the quest pop-up kept me from being able to see it, so uh, that stinks. And I was thinking to myself, I'm reaching for the bandage. I should hit the bandage button, because there's those little tiny floaty UFOs that took me out. Ugh. But if I don't have Dreadwing's wreckage, I'm actually going to be sad. But you saw it. I did actually kill him, and I did kill him legitimately without an exploit, which is what I was hoping to do. But he'll probably say, you don't have Dreadwing's wreckage. Wah. All right. Let's find out. Outpost. Any day now. There we go. So I do have my little double dash tech now, so I can get around the way a little bit and hit lag spikes a little faster. See if we got any other quest here right now. So it's just so laggy and zoomed out it's even laggier. Let's see if he has... If he's going to say I need to get wreckage, I'm going to be mad. There we go. So, learn to craft the processor. Thanks for taking care of it. I found this processor in the wreckage of the ship. Maybe you can use it. Yay, processor. Now I just gotta remember what the processor does for us. I'm pretty sure it allows us to craft something pretty important. Maybe this person will say. Hi there, after Florin drove the hodl to the ocean, we began using kelp as currency. It happens to be partial. If you give me 300 kelp from the bottom of the ocean planet, give you a nanoskin that allows you to survive on radioactive planets. So there we go, good reason to go to an ocean planet. I think I have quite a bit of kelp already, but we do want to be able to go to a radioactive area as well. So I think we may just need to quest for kelp, possibly next time, but for now at least I have a processor. And we can, uh, I know what the processor used to be able to do. It used to involve actually upgrading one of your crafting tables or making something new. We'll see if the ship just asks for a plug and play there, but that was pretty merciful that it didn't just make me do Dreadwing again. I mean, if he drops some other item that I was hoping to get, that's too bad. Alright, so, commands anything like that. Well, you know what, at least on the bright side I do have multiple tags for multiple cats, and if I do just need to go for, uh, let's see if the metal crafting table has... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double check and see how they change the uh, processor off camera, because I'm sure someone in the comments will say right away, oh by the way it's this, and that was one of the nice things about playing on Twitch. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Dreadwing is dead, finally. I died with him a few times, but still. 30 some bandages later it's what i needed so thanks for watching and next time we're going to be doing more starbound where we go into at least into the ocean depths until we can go to some radioactive planets and do something a little more dangerous hope you enjoyed it see you next time